Not many people would know who Peter J. McGuire is just by hearing his name, but once being told that he's the father of Labor Day, they would then have somewhat of an idea who he is. Peter J. McGuire might not be the most well-known name in the labor movement, but he was actually a quite important one. McGuire was a prominent figure throughout the labor movement. In fact, Peter J. McGuire is the reason that we have Labor Day and was a very influential person in the labor movement. Labor Day is a nationally recognized holiday, but most people think of it just as another day off of work. Labor Day is actually a holiday to celebrate workers and their achievements. Labor Day originated during the Industrial Revolution, which we all know was not the best time to be in the workforce. The working conditions were hard. Workers typically worked 12 hours a day, seven days a week. In some cases, children at the age of five would start working in mills, factories, and mines. Peter J. McGuire, who started working at a young age, recognized that these conditions were not right and wanted to make a change, which is what led him to start joining unions. Peter J. McGuire first became part of the labor movement when he was apprentice piano maker in 1867. He was active in the New York branch of the International Workingmen's Association. The International Workingmen's Association was also known as the First International, which unified the labor force in Europe. In 1873, he was elected to serve on the Committee of Public Safety at the young age of 21. Only a year later, he helped to form the Social Democratic Party, which was a very short-lived political party, later becoming the Socialist Party of America. He spent the next five years of his life organizing chapters throughout the country. He later moved to St. Louis, Missouri, where he helped to form the Bureaus of Labor Statistics, where he was then appointed the Deputy Commissioner. After resigning in 1879, within two years, he had organized a union of carpenters in St. Louis. The carpenters' unions across the United States had a meeting in Chicago, where they formed the United Brotherhood of Carpenters in 1881. McGuire was elected the United Brotherhood of Carpenters' secretary. McGuire moved the United Brotherhood of Carpenters' headquarters to New York in 1882. He then began his involvement in the eight-hour-a-day movement. He suggested a resolution at the New York Central Labor Union in 1882. He believed they should have a festive parade throughout the city streets. On the first Monday of September, Labor Day, is what we consider it now, more than 30,000 people attended the event. The event occurred the next year, and they had a similar turnout. Several cities across the U.S. were encouraged to participate the following year, but only a select few decided to, although in 1885 the turnout was much larger. The United States Congress recognized the holiday in 1894. Not only was McGuire the founder of Labor Day, he was also the founder of May Day, also known as the International Labor Day. Even after the protests, President Chester A. Arthur refused to recognize the eight-hour law. McGuire said that the only way to get an effective eight-hour law was for the workers to enforce it themselves. McGuire also said, we want an enactment by the working men themselves on, that on a given day, eight hours shall constitute a day's work, and they ought to enforce it themselves. The United Brotherhood of Carpenters established that May 1st, 1886 would be the day which workers would institute the eight-hour day. Thousands of workers responded and joined local unions in large numbers. On the day, 350,000 workers went on strike against more than 11,000 establishments. When the Federation of Organized Trades and Labor Unions was reorganized into the American Federation of Labor, McGuire was elected the secretary. In 1888, the American Federation of Labor called for another eight-hour strike, which was led by McGuire. The strike ended up being one of the most impressive victories for trade union solidarity in the 19th century. In fact, more than 23,000 carpenters in 36 cities gained the eight-hour day, and 32,000 in 234 cities gained the nine-hour day. In order to devote himself completely to the United Brotherhood of Carpenters, McGuire resigned in 1889 from the American Federation of Labor. 
The United Brotherhood of Carpenters continued to grow. McGuire was expelled from the United Brotherhood of Carpenters in 1902 because of embezzlement charges. McGuire was also in ill health and was an alcoholic, resulting in him later being passed away on February 18, 1906, in Camden, New Jersey. Overall, I believe that Peter J. McGuire made a very large impact in the labor movement. The numerous organization, organizations that he was a part of would not have evolved as they did without his influence. We would not have Labor Day if it wasn't for his work with the labor movement. He was a very influential, important person in the labor movement with his involvement in all of the organizations. His biggest involvement being in the United Brotherhood of Carpenters. We can thank Peter J. McGuire for the extra day off we get every year.